the vaccine dashboard is an interactive portal where people are able to come and see data that's provided by Virginia Department of Health that Chesterfield County has taken and made specific to our locality. So the Chesterfield County uh, COVID-19 vaccination dashboard can be found by going to chesterfield.gov and scrolling down and clicking on the launch panel for it. When it loads up, it'll bring you straight to the main menu, immediate view of the uh, gauge. They're showing the community vaccination progress and the, and the percent we are towards that goal. The first page is the page that actually shows the our progress for the community vaccination goal as compared to other peers. So what we did here is we took other localities that had populations of 200,000 or more uh, so that we could get an apples to apples comparison to see how we were performing uh, across the state. Uh, so you can see right there right now, as of today, we're at 55.71% of our community vaccination goal. And that goal is basically, as you can see down here, it is 75% of the vaccine eligible residents within Chesterfield County. So we used Weldon Cooper uh, population estimates to determine those numbers. And that, that vaccination goal is currently established at 190,596 residents. As of today, we are 55.71% of the way there. On the tracking community vaccination uh, page, there is a goal date that is an estimated goal date that's down there. Today, it sits at May the 10th. That date changes every day, and basically what it is is an illustration of the 30-day average. That 30-day average is the number of doses on average that have been administered over the last 30 days. So here we can see that the current 30-day average is 2,032 doses a day, and at that rate, uh, it would take 42 days for us to reach our 75% community vaccination goal. You can use the navigation button here to go back to the main menu and some of the, the newer features on the new version of the dashboard include some demographics which include uh, uh, vaccinations by age category, in this case it's 10 year uh, age groups. So you can see right there that our 80 plus and our 70 to 79 uh, eight-year-old residents are both sitting at 70%, uh, just about 70% uh, with the ultimate goal of getting to 75. As phases 1C and uh, phase 2 open up, we hope to see all of these numbers climb accordingly. You can also, over here, you can see the number of people that are vaccinated with just one dose versus fully uh, vaccinated. There is also uh, race demographics down here in the lower left-hand corner. However, those statistics have not been cap uh, captured accurately throughout the entire vaccination process. When you go back, you can look at how Chesterfield County is doing as a whole. So here is a 30-day snapshot, roughly 30-day snapshot of the number of vaccines that were administered in, uh, to residents of the county each day, and along with where they were administered or what type of facility administered them. So that's important because you can see that pharmacies have, have been giving more vaccines uh, <clears throat> as time has gone on. You can see the uh, medical practices as in doctor's offices and places like that, and other community health providers. This is a big one. This is where you see vaccines as it, as it jumps up here in the last two weeks, this is where the CVC, the Community Vaccination Center at Virginia State has been open. You also have pie charts down here that show first dose versus uh, fully vaccinated, and then the people, the fully vaccinated one dose there are the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. You're also able to look at it uh, from the perspective of the Chesterfield Health District as opposed to Ch just Chesterfield County. So when we talk about the Health District, we're also including the localities of Powhatan and Colonial Heights as well. So all of the metrics that you see through here are the, exactly the same as they were on the county dashboard. They're just directed at the Health District, so they are inclusive of those other localities. We then have the ability to look through and see uh, how we're comparing against other localities individually. And this is important for us with, uh, within county government because it allows us to, it, to compare the strategies, the dose allocation strategies that, that we and our health department have used versus other localities in their health departments. And so we're able to see, you know, some localities have <clears throat> different strategies that they've put in place and it allows us to benchmark and collaborate with those other localities to determine, if, to, to determine that we're using the best strategy possible. The locality comparison map actually gives you a visual representation of the entire Commonwealth of Virginia. As you roll over each of the localities there, it tells you how many first doses they have, what their eligible population is, so on and so forth. 
One of the things that I think is really interesting about this one is it allows you to filter by health district as opposed to just locality. So as I mentioned before, Chesterfield Health District is made up of, of multiple localities, and when you select it there, it zooms in and you're able to see exactly what comprises the health district. The table down here has all of the corresponding information for, for the selections that you make. The Plan RVA Localities page is, is showing a, the community vaccination goals as determined by our logic. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, our logic and our methodology. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's how these localities are going about establishing their community vaccination goals. The Plan RVA Localities <clears throat> are all represented on the map down here, as well as a corresponding table with all of their values. On the doses shipped page, you're able to see both the number of doses that have been, or the number of doses that have been shipped to each locality, and here we've got it filtered to the 200,000 plus localities for apples to apples comparison. And again, pretty interesting to see here. You can see in March we had this giant spike of doses that were shipped to Chesterfield County, and we believe that is because of the uh, community vaccination center at VSU, so that they're adequately supplied with doses there. Here you're able to select again another of. Uh, a variety of localities here. We just have Chesterfield selected, but we can come in and control click and select uh, Colonial Heights as well to select multiple localities and see how they compare. The regions and top 10 page shows just some, some geographic regions around the Commonwealth that we're all familiar with, notably the Metro Richmond area, the Northern Virginia area, the Tri-Cities area, and the Hampton Roads area. It allows you to see how many doses per 10,000 residents have been administered, how many total dose ones have been administered, uh, as well as their corresponding health districts and their populations. There are also two other graphs on here showing first dose administrations by population and first uh, locality, top 10 locality doses per 10,000 population. It's interesting to note when you look at the, at the doses per 10,000 that at the beginning of this process, at the beginning of the vaccination process, it was all much smaller localities that were there and as vaccination efforts have ramped up, now you can see that most of, most of the uh, top 10 there are larger 200,000 plus localities. The top 10 map page contains uh, maps that show the, the top 10 localities by first dose administration and the top 10 localities uh, that have given the most doses per 10,000 population. The color scale that you see on the map is consistent across all of the maps that we have uh, on the dashboard. So the darker that the locality is, the more doses have been administered or, or the higher that value is. The Strategic Partners tab is there as an aid to both our emergency management uh, division within the fire department and to the Chesterfield Health District. What this does is it allows them to, to view the performance of strategic partners, uh, namely pharmacies and doctor's offices, uh, against their own performance so that we can see that as the vaccination process goes on, those strategic partners become more online, they come, become more productive in the process, and it allows them just to, to track that and see week over week to make sure that those systems are being formed and supplied adequately. One of the, the main reasons behind the development of this dashboard really is, is twofold. First, uh, it's transparency in our efforts with the Chesterfield Health District in conjunction with the Chesterfield Health District so that our citizens can see that we are diligently working to uh, facilitate the vaccination process and get us you know, beyond uh, COVID-19. Uh, and the second reason is it allows our citizens to see a sense of progress, even though they may not have seen it in their personal life yet. Everyone knows that the vaccination process is ongoing. However, if you haven't been vaccinated yet or no one you know has been vaccinated yet, yet, you're still able to come here and you're able to see that that process is coming. And it just helps to alleviate some of the questions that are out there about when I might be expected uh, to, to get my vaccine. Probably the single most important thing for people to take away from the vaccination dashboard is the the daily progress. If you come in, you look at it one day and you see that it's 55.71% today, what's really impressive is when you come tomorrow and you see that we've made a 3% jump or a 4% jump. Um, you know, so it, it just really hammers home the sense that there is progress, that we're approaching a light at the end of the tunnel, and that the closer we get to this community vaccination goal, the closer we are to getting back to normal.